Cooper Marcher here. Happy Sunday, everybody. Remember when we talked about boxes before and how much I love them? I've often wondered where my boxes go when they disappear. I have suspected either it was magic or my mom had something to do with it, but I couldn't prove it. Well, today, I found one of my boxes sitting on top of the wastebasket in the kitchen, waiting to go outside into the recycle bin. It was flatter than a pancake. I reached up and knocked it off onto the floor. It just lay there and was still flat. It was the saddest sight ever, a perfectly flat Amazon box. Oh my, oh my, how could such a thing happen to one of my boxes? I thought perhaps I could revive it, so I tried to get in it, but I could only get under it. I thought maybe it would wake up and sit up, but it was not meant to be. I did manage to salvage it enough so I can sit on it flat on the floor. It is really sad when you think about it. Thankfully, I still have my beloved Chewy box to play in. Who could be responsible for such treachery? Could my very own human be destroying my boxes, making them flat and then sending them to some strange recycling center? I didn't even want to think such things of her. Do my fellow felines know there is such a thing as a dreaded box cutter? It's an implement to destroy boxes when they are absolutely defenseless. My human has one of these in, a, in the kitchen drawer, I discovered, and this has been going on right under my nose this entire time. My mom has been cutting my boxes up and putting them in the recycling. Can you imagine my shock? I never would have thought her capable of such cruelty. I haven't decided on an appropriate punishment yet for her, but rest assured somehow she needs to be taught this is unacceptable behavior. Please don't take your eyes off your precious boxes or they too will disappear. I know for sure she isn't the only human with a box cutter. I'm so disappointed in her. Thank you for my friend, to my friend Pam in England for suggesting I talk about this to get it off my chest. We love you, Pam. Cooper Marcher here. Ciao.